Hi everybody, it's me, Jessica Lahore, and we are back with another Jess Talk, where we dive into plastic surgery being nipped and tucked. But before we get into this episode, make sure you subscribe to my channel. At this point, you're behind, and hit the bell for notifications. And if you're streaming on Spotify or Apple Music, make sure to subscribe. Let's get into it. Attention the whore, attention the whore, attention the whore, attention, attention. Here I am walking down the street, seeing all the boys trying to take a peek. Shorts pulled up, a chest upright. Come on, boys, just take a bite. Look, but don't touch, spin it round and round. And we're back. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this Just Talk is all about plastic surgery getting nipped and tucked. And why are we talking about it? Because I got my lips done today. This is the third time that I've got my lips done and I want to go bigger and bigger and bigger. So the lips that you see, look at these suckers. When you wipe off the makeup, they're just as big. And I really like it. But overall, plastic surgery for me, I'm a big believer you should do whatever makes you happiest. If you want to modify your body in any way, as little as a manicure, I would I would say acrylics. There's like that's a body modification, getting breast implants, um, hair extensions, um, tanning, uh, getting a rib removed, whatever, get, you know, whatever makes you happiest, okay, to get you to a place where you look in the mirror and you're like, wow, this is like, this is where I feel like I'm actually becoming me. I'm all for it. As long as you're knowledgeable, you're, you're safe about it. You know, not doing things the cheapest way just because you found a group on, but you're actually trying to, you're trying to like go into it very smart. So yeah, be knowledgeable, make the decisions. I mean, I've had, to, I've had work done, um, but not like crazy work done. Uh, what do we got? We got, we've had my teeth, my forefront teeth. I've got veneers. Um, my eyebrows, when I take my makeup off, I have my eyebrows tattooed, like hydro. Actually, I've been calling it hydro microbladed and I found out today it's hybrid. <laughs> just hybrid. I've been saying, oh, hydro microbladed. It sounds so fancy. And it's just hybrid, like combine the two hybrid. Uh, I have my eyebrows tattooed on my face. I haven't gotten Botox yet. A few moments later. Jessica tries Botox today. Me but I thought about it. You know, and, and I think that even ranges to coloring your hair. Any body modification, I think, is in the form of like that. Not necessarily plastic surgery, but like mod body modifications, okay? Things that you do to get yourself happier. Now, I do, I'm kind of obsessed with watching the shows about, about all the, like, oh, fake tucked or, like, I had a bad instance. And I think you should watch those videos before you go get it because then you're safer about it. Because you're watching these people and they're like, oh, yeah, I went to some person behind a Taco Bell and I said, hey, all I can pay you is 40 bucks. And like, oh, I can, I can give you a, the fattest ass ever and then a week later a raccoon just crawls its way out because it's infected and whatever like do you, like it doesn't even make sense okay um like watch these videos because then you watch those stories and you feel bad for them but also you're more knowledgeable and you're like okay maybe i don't need to do that but then I've, I've there's also like a limit for me like you do whatever you want but maybe it's not my cup of tea i've had people i've, I've seen people you know they get their belly buttons removed or nipples removed or they they want to completely like transform their face to be flat uh and i think that's so cool but to me that's a little bit more extreme for myself and that's not my journey at one point i wanted to do like what detox did and implant muscles in my body but then i found out that that does not feel good um at one point i was like uh i mean minor misdemeanor went to a clinic and they did this ab thing and it just like buzzes your ab like 15 million times in 20 minutes but the only way you get results is after you do it five or six times and then that's costly like five or six times and then you have to keep working out because if you don't work out then it all goes away but if you did it thinking oh well i'm not gonna have to work out anymore Pfft, no thought about cool sculpting and then everyone told me not to do cool sculpting they said it was like really not not safe it's dangerous like it's it's not the biggest bang for your buck steroids no bueno but if you do they're for you i guess i've always wanted to have my butthole bleached I think that's a body modification. They call it changing your ringtone. <laughs> where, where do you even look for that kind of... I don't know. I've never... 
Actually, I did once. I got really stoned with my friend Emma, and I'm pretty sure we had a full blown like research of Denver butt bleach, butthole <laughs> bleaching. Um, Would you ever do a self one? Oh kids? no, I don't trust myself to do. That. I barely trust myself to nair around my butthole because on accident it gets in and then it burns like a motherfucker. <laughs> no, I'm gonna leave that to a professional to do whatever they gotta do. Okay, I wanted to always get laser hair removal, but the, it's the idea of keeping up with it. Like, am I willing to keep up with this? Yeah, because at some point, same with all everything they were explaining, like the sculpting, the mm-hmm. all that stuff. You it's have to keep up with it. it's just as like like a hobby. If you keep up with it, it becomes easier and easier and whatnot because you know what you need to do. But if you stop, then it gets harder. It gets harder. Um. Yeah. Do you, are there anything any like modifications that you've done that you regret? Not yet. <laughs> Knock on wood. Not yet. Uh, no, nothing that I've gotten done I've regretted. I am, I guess a tattoo I would consider a body modification. And uh, I only have one. My eyebrows are my only tattoo, and I have so many ideas for tattoos. But the idea of the permanentness freaks me out a little bit. Just a little bit. I have so many ideas, though. But I would say that is a body modification. People that get their uh, eyes injected with different colors. What about piercings, do you? I would say it's in the body modification category. I mean, we're kind of going all generalized now. I understand this was supposed to be more plastic surgery, but generalized body modifications. There's so much out there. You can literally do anything to anything, it feels like. I feel like science is so good that you can get anything done. Like anything. But hey, I would really like to look like Gary Busey, and they could do that. (laughs) That's crazy. That's wild. But you have to find the right person to do it. Down below, what do you think? What are some of your body modifications that you love, that you've gotten done? Tell me some of the plastic surgery questions that you have, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Attention the whore. Attention the whore. Attention the whore. Hi, little whores. It's me, Jessica Lahore. And did you know that I'm on Cameo? That's right. Cameo is a platform where you can get personalized messages from me, the biggest whore in all of Colorado. Whether it be a birthday sing-along, a bar mitzvah, a congratulations on your new job, a congratulations you didn't get pregnant, I'm your whore for the message. So follow the link below, click it, and book your next Cameo to surprise your best friend, your grandma, your family member, or any other little Lahore fan out there. Come on, book them now.